welcome to one and all i am vasanta department of computer science, science. today we will start with sixth experiment of c++ that is write a program to create a class with data members principal rate and time create a member function to accept data values to compute simple interest and display the result then what is the agent of the program you have to find the simple interest if i want to find out simple interest then which are the variables we required that is principal amount rate of interest and then time what is the formula to find simple interest that is simple interest equals p tr divided by 100 this is a formula you already know now for this one we have to write the program then which are the header file we required for this program as usual first we'll start with header file ash include i wo stream dot h header file this is the supporting header file for scene as well as see out function program ali scene matte see out work aagbeku andre this header file we required the next header file ash include conio dot h header file this is a supporting header file for clear screen as well as get search function clear screen matte get search use maadbeku andre namge conio dot h header file irbeku now we'll start with the class here we want to find simple interest for the given principal amount rate as well as time then i want to write the class name is interest simple interest i want to find that's why the class name here we are given as interest in this in private section declare the variables in private section declare the variables which are the variable we required here while to find out simple interest we need ptr is it no then declare all the variables the variables i am declared as float format float p comma t comma then next r to store the result yes i to store the result yes i p t r and then to store the result s as a variable these are the variables we declared then next in public section declare the functions that is the first function for input purpose void get data function for input purpose the next one void compute function for calculation purpose and the last function void display function void display function then close the class to close the class after flower bracket compulsory to put semicolon to close the class now one by one we will write the statement of get data function compute function as well as display function now we will write one by one here we have declared the class which are the variables which are the functions that we have declared now we will write the statements for get data function the return type here we have void that is void the class name here we are given as interest interest then next scope resolution operator to write the statements of that function outside the class we required scope resolution operator which is the function now we are writing that is get data function get data function now here we'll open which are the variables we want to input here that is principal amount rate as well as time it has to be display in the output screen that's why see out insertion operator inside the double quote write down enter enter principal amount principal amount rate and time to input the values one by one see in extraction operator p t and then r if you want in the question you can make the changes that is enter the values principal amount then write down rate and then write down time 
principal amount, rate and then time. Next here we will close this function. Next we will we'll going to write the functions of compute function that is void, interest, interest, scope resolution operator, compute function, compute function. Here you have to observe while writing here don't put semicolon because here we are writing the statement of a function that's why don't put any semicolon here. Now what is the calculation in compute function that is SI equals P into T into R whole thing divided by 100. This is the calculation that is compute function. What is the next function we have to write that is display function to display the result that is void. Class name here we are given as interest, interest, scope resolution operator, display function, display function. Now display the value that is CR, CR, insertion operator, insert the double quotes, write down. Here also enter principal amount, rate and then time, here also to put semicolon. C out that is here also we want to display the simple interest equals simple interest equals this has to be displayed inside the double quotes it will display the values then later on we have to display simple interest value that is insertion operator yes I then close this function here we are closed the display function. What is the remaining thing now we have to write? That is the main program now we have to write. That is void main. The main program is void main. Here first step you have to create the object. How to create object? That is class name here we are given as interest. Leave one space then i is the object name here we are given. Then clear screen clr scr call the functions one by one i dot get data function next call compute function that is i dot compute function i dot that is compute function the last one is i dot display function display function then get ch now close the main program which you open now so clear. Once again to recall, interest is the class name, declare the variable float format, then display the functions which are the functions, now write down the functions, enter principal amount, rate and then time, input all the values, then calculate by using compute function, by using display function, display the value, then create the main program, here create an object, with the help of object call the functions one by one. Now is it clear? Now we will show you how to execute this program on the system. Thank you for all of you. First click on MS Word box. There we will get a screen. First click on file, new option. To maximize the screen click here. First by using comment section write on the question. Division slash star now write on the comment section that is write a program to create a class to create a class with data members principal data members principal time and rate create create member functions to accept data values to compute simple interest
and display the result close the comment section now start typing the program first ash include type down the header file ash include io stream dot h header file this is a supporting header file for c in as well as c out the next header file ash include conio dot h this is a supporting header file for clear screen as well as get ch next start with the class here the class name we are given as interest the class name is interest here on this in private section we are declaring the variables the first variable we are declared as float format all the variables float that is p comma t comma r then to store the result simple interest that is esi next in public section declare the function the first one void get data function for input purpose next function that is void compute function for calculation purpose next function void display function to display the result these are the three functions here we are selected one is get data one is compute and one more is display next close the class to close the class after flower bracket you have to put semicolon next we are going to write the statements of that function the first one is get data function now first the written type is void the class name interest scope resolution operator get data function we are writing the statements outside the class here that's why here don't put semicolon now open the bracket the first function under get data that is c out enter inside the double quotes you have to write enter principal amount time and then rate inside the double quotes you have to write then insertion operator end line to end the line we want to move the cursor to the next line for the sake we require this end line function next c in extraction operator input all the variables that is p insertion operator t insertion operator r now close this get data function next function will write that is void interest here scope resolution operator compute function on this compute function now we will write the statement that is that is simple interest that is si equals write on the formula that is p into t into r whole thing divided by 100 now close this compute function next function we have to write that is display function that is void interest scope resolution operator display function here on display function we will display the value of simple interest that is c out in session operator inside the double quotes simple interest equals display the value of si that is simple interest si then close this function now next in the main program now you have to write the main program void main here create the object how to create object first you have to take the class name interest then leave one space write on the object name on this program i is the object name i given i then next clear screen clr scr next with the help of object call all the functions one by one that is i dot get data function i dot get data function then next i dot compute function next i dot display function next get ch then close the main program after typing the program first you have to save the program 
here while saving the program on this case I given the file name is experiment 6 dot cpp this is the extension here we are given experiment 6. Then after saving the program first compile the program with the command alt f9 there it is displaying totally 4 errors are there to identify the errors press any key here it is displaying that statement missing semicolon again the artha semicolon miss agide to identify that mistake where exactly I have to move I have to press enter key wherever the cursor is showing or displaying see here the cursor is identifying here on that line otherwise above that line or below that line there will be mistake in semicolon just see here simple interest equals in session operator SI but here we are not written semicolon right on the semicolon once again compile the program there is no, one more error is there that is get DTA is not a member of interest it is displaying see the function name we are given as get data but here get DTA we are written it is not matching get DTA is not a member function of interest hagan artha interest and the class only get DTA and no function illa anta artha because in the beginning there we are declared as get data see here here we are written as get data but at the end get DTA we are written then make the changes on this get data. Now compile the program there is no any error after compiling the program once again save the program. Now run the program it is asking enter principal amount time and then write enter the principal amount for example I am going to enter the principal amount is 1000 then time 5 rate of interest 10 then we will get the simple interest for that is 500 now is it clear for all of you like this you have to display the simple interest next class we will meet with one more experiment thank you for all of you to come out from that file quit then exit